Okay, we're already full on ammo. We already got that cash, so I guess now we're just gonna hi we're just gonna hightail it back to uh, that other place. Oh, but hey, you remember those dudes that went invisible on us? <laughs> Ain't doing that no more. Cause we got a secret weapon now. Check it. Oh yeah, it also doesn't. I don't know if it does much against uh, these dudes. Yeah, see, like, it looks like they go on fire. Which is kind of weird. Oh, hey. They actually do die. Okay, yeah. Can't do anything over there because I already got the thing. Uh, I can go back to the Dark Forgotten Bridge and I need to transfer back to uh, Light Aether somewhere. Wait a minute. There we go. I just forgot to do that. No big deal. See, yeah, and then you also see there the enemies are highlighted in red, you know, just in case you can't see them. Which is, you know, entirely possible, actually. Because some of them with the, you know, dark color scheme of Dark Aether, uh, some enemies may kind of appear invisible. Hey, you remember these dudes? <laughs> well, guess what? Payback time. Can't hide from me anymore. These are basically like the uh, the Chozo ghosts of uh, of this game. If you remember the Chozo ghosts from the previous game, uh, they were pretty much invisible until you got uh, until you got the X-ray visor. But now we can fully track them. Yeah, how do you like that? Not so fun now, is it? fun for me. That's a lie, actually. Now I get to shoot all these and get all this delicious ammo. Oh, oh, it feels so good in my tummy. Alright, so, where to now? Um, I could actually just go... Can I even reach that from here? Yeah, I can! Yes, I can reach it from here. That is good news. Very good news. Alright, so the quickest way... If I go to this white one here, Ruined Alcove, that should take me exactly where I need to go. We just have to go there and ignore the Grenzlers. That's what I would recommend doing, because they're it's not worth it to fight them, oh dear god. Oh hey, you know what we can do now? Um Oh, wrong wrong beam. Now that we have this, there's actually a thing we can go back and get with the Dark Beam. <gasps> oh, I could... Oh, man. I could actually... No. No. Well, okay, you know what? No, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. Because since, since the dude has a testament is right there, um, if we come back here with the... Actually, yeah, I'm going to do that so I can demonstrate this to you. Uh, it's basically just showing how wherever there's one of those guys, you just go to that same room in the dark world. And then use the dark visor, look around at the ceiling, you'll see, hey, there's a dude there, I'm gonna hit it. And fortunately, we have very easy access to that portal now, thankfully. It is super, super convenient. Not even gonna lie. 
I also love that effect, how, like, when you go near the water, how it gets, like, all... All that moisture gets on the visor. It's just, it's just a nice, it's a nice little touch that, you know, some people may not notice or appreciate. Okay, so I want to go this way. Right? Yeah, that's the way I want to go. Thankfully, there's no more of those space pirate dudes show up and ruin my day. There are, however, these dudes to show up and ruin my day. If I can just stealthily avoid them, like a stealthy stealth ninja. Those are words. And, uh, no, it's not here. I need to go to the left. There's a stupid hunter ing that I'm not going to fight because they're annoying. Seriously, I don't even know why they were created if they're, like, impossible to kill. Or maybe, uh, or maybe there, there's an easy way to kill them and I just don't know. Okay. And now... If this is the right room, yeah, it is. So, we should be able to see now. Well, that's a hunter ing. That's not what we're looking for. Come on, come here. Come here, Hunter-ing. Oh, man, why won't you just come here? There we go. Okay, so what we should be seeing... Hmm... Do they not show up yet? Well, maybe I was mistaken. Maybe maybe they don't maybe they don't show up until the very end of the game. Well, I guess I just wasted a bunch of time. Well, what I was gonna show is how there's um, the the key, the temple key dudes there, but apparently uh, they don't show up until. Uh, until you actually get to, you know, the end of the game where they would, you know, actually be showing up. Ah, uh, where's Grapple Beam? There it is. Oh, thank God. Oh, well then. Might as well just go back to Aether. Because we gotta go deliver the energy to... The Ow! Ow! Oh my god, I made a huge mistake. I'm so glad that no more enemies are showing up here. Oh my god. I've been recording for an hour. <sighs> it has felt like that long. Normally, I don't record for uh, these for this long of a session, mainly because, as you're probably realizing, you run out of things to talk about, which is why, yet yeah, you can record really long sessions like this. I just don't recommend it. I, I don't recommend it to anybody else that uh, is doing Let's Plays. Because, uh, again, if you run out of stuff to talk about, then, well, you just end up either talking about random things like me, or not talking at all. And, I don't know, maybe, maybe that's alright sometimes, to not have the person talk at all. Uh, cause, ow, no, 
No, nope, sorry. Because I know that I, I, I've had some people complain saying like, oh, I talk too much or in cutscenes, but that was way back in Dawn of the New World. What the hell? Oh! Oh my god, I am an idiot. <laughs> I'm like, why is there a thing there? Yeah, yeah, so I can just go to the Great Bridge and over there, and it's no big deal. Oh, yeah, wait a minute. No, 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 no. I need to go... It's this way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because there was a missile expansion over here. So that was actually good that that happened. Because now there's an expansion over here, I can actually get that one right over there. It's been taunting me for, like, a week now. Gotcha, finally! 80 missiles, that's all the missiles that we can get in Other M. Although, again, I don't know why you would ever need that many missiles, because... Because while the, the missile thingy is kind of nice in Other M, uh, with the way a lot of the bosses are, or at least... Maybe it's just because I hadn't played in a while, and, I was, and this is just based on my experience fighting the uh, optional boss. But you never... There, you never get an opportunity where you can stand still and use missiles. Like you can maybe shoot off one or two missiles, but at that point in the game, you're supposed to be using su excuse me, super missiles, and normal missiles are just uh, it just ain't gonna cut it. All right. That was a nice little detour, and I've lost three of my energy tanks. Man, I, I would have been dead a long time ago if this was um, uh, Other M, because I believe, uh, what is it, if you do hard mode in that, then you just don't get any energy tanks ever. This basically means if you get hit once, you're dead. So it's kind of like Dante Must Die. If that's the mode that I think it is in Devil May Cry, it's where you die in one hit. This hand of mine glows with awesome power! Hey, we got two of them. I was told not to cross the streams, but... Hey! What's this dude? What's he doing here? Or she? The temple's energy has been restored. Alright, is there anything with the Dark Visor in here? No, there is not. We do get one more visor, and I believe it's the Echo Visor. But that's not till... Yeah, that's not for a little while, actually. So I, I want to say the next power-up we get... I, I don't even know what the next power-up we get is. I hope it's the either the Power Bomb or the Spider Ball.
Alright, so, what the... Okay, so these dudes are even invisible to the Dark Visor. Hmm. So they go, like, completely invisible? I think I want to go to Aegon Waste, actually. I, well, I don't really know where I should go, but I figure if I go here, then I can just... Then this will be just a hop, skip, and a jump away from the... Uh, from the, the temple place. Alright, so how do I get back to the temple from here? Mining Plaza, Temple Grounds, see? Really, really fast access to the Temple Grounds. I'm sure I could have gone the other way. I could have just done it through the Torvus Bog, but I kind of like the Aegon Ways. I like this place, it's nice. Oh, ho, ho. Plus, it actually takes me right by a save station, which makes it super convenient. So, um, that'll be it for this video. So, um, I, I will I will save the game, don't worry. So, on the next installment of Let's Play Metroid Prime 2, we're going to head back to the Temple Grounds and then start on the, uh, to the, on the next section of Aether, which, uh, spoilers, is a Sanctuary Fortress, which is one of my... Uh, it has some of my favorite music in the game. really like that place. So, this has been GT. Thank you all for watching. Enjoy the rest of your day.